uh, we are going to test out a product called Zep Truck and Trailer Wash today. Um, this is what the vehicle looks like currently. Um, this is just mud stains, mud stains all over it up underneath it. We are going to try to document how this truck and trailer wash works. As you can see, this thing's filthy. We're not going to do a pre-soak of water. We're going to spray the product right on with the foam cannon and see how well it works. So this is out in the sun. I'll take another video of it in the shade here in just a couple minutes. All right, here's another view under the shade. As you can see, there's a, a dirt film on it. And we are gonna try the Zep truck and trailer wash out by spraying it straight on the vehicle. We're gonna let it soak for about 10 minutes and then come back and see what the results are. What I'm doing here is I'm mixing this uh, about a quarter of the container for the uh, foam gun, about 10 ounces or so, and then filling the rest of it up with water. And that's what we're using to do the uh, foam gun with. And that should do it. Okay, the Zep truck and trailer wash has been on for about one minute now. Uh, we are doing this in the shade. As you can see, there's some of the orange mud stain stuff coming off on the, on the pavement all on its own. There's no scrubbing so far. We're going to give it a full eight to ten minutes and let it do its thing because it's cool up underneath the shade here. So far, this stuff looks like it's going to do the trick. We will see. All right, I'm going to come back in just a few minutes, spraying it off. We'll video it spraying it off and see how it goes. rinsing the machine off still needs a little bit more rinsing uh, you have to keep rinsing and rinsing and rinsing just to make sure you get all the soap off but so far the results are pretty pleasing we won't know until it dries but um, right now it looks pretty good I'm going to continue rinsing and back it out in the Sun and we'll get a better representation of how the product works. 
Be right back. All right, we just finished spraying it down uh, with water, just water. And so far the results seem to be fairly impressive, but we're gonna have to wait for it to dry off to see uh, if there's any film left over on it or what have you. But right now, other than a little dirt on the tires, looks pretty dang clean. Bear in mind, not a scrub brush one or a hand with a towel or a sponge has touched it yet. This is all just the straight truck and trailer wash right out of the foam can. Let it sit for a few minutes and spray it. When you spray it, you gotta spray it pretty good. And then when you're done spraying, you need to spray a little bit more. Then when you think you're done spraying, with water, spray some more with some water. Then after that, you need to spray it some more with some water. And then here's some evidence of drying right here. Still looks pretty good. Uh, for not having to wash it with a, with a rag or anything. Heck man, I'll take that any day. We're gonna let it dry completely and come back in just a few minutes and look at it again. It looks like it's completely dry now, so we'll get a close-up of the results. It's pretty dang clean for not having to do anything but spray. You can always come back and wipe it down with some automotive detail spray to get it looking really good, but so far I'm pretty impressed. There's not any real there's a little bit here and there. It wipes right off. Just looks like it comes right off with a, with a rag. So it's not too bad. I'll take it any day. Take it any day of the week. Just remember, when you get done rinsing, you got to rinse. So, and then when you're done rinsing, of course, the final step would be to rinse about two more times, and then rinse again. Other than that. Stuff's pretty good. It's called Zep Truck and Trailer Wash. Zep Truck and Trailer Wash, right there. All right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.